In this vlog, we will try to create a custom widget for text field. So in our previous vlog, we have seen a custom widget for a text widget here. This is the output. So if you have missed this particular tutorial, I am providing the link in the description section below. So you may go through it for better understanding of this particular tutorial. So now let us try to use the same code over here and try to create custom text field widget so now let us try to create a text field widget first so inside this particular text field widget we will try to specify a hint so why we use this text field widget is to accept input from user so whenever you are trying to create an application where you are having login screen so registration forgot password change password and also you may be having a search bar and whatever the requirement may be you are trying to accept an input from the user then you will make use of this particular text field here so to specify a hint we need to make use of a decoration and inside which let us consider input decoration so there we will be having an option like hint here so here you can just specify a hint like enter email id and now let's try to save this and here you can see we have got enter email id here so this is a text field to enter email id but we will be having multiple text fields in our application so let's try to copy this and add a comma over here and specify just like enter password so these two are the must when you have a login mechanism in your application so if it is a registration you will be having more than two fields you need to use the text field with the same design here so now let's try to add some design also so let's specify style here and text style here so inside the text style let us specify the font size to be 20 font style to be italic here so font style dot italic and also you can specify color here so colors dot for now let us try to specify black here and also you can just specify a hint color by making use of hint style and i'm just going to copy this particular thing here and add it inside the hint style so we are getting some warnings here so in our previous tutorial i have so i have explained why we have got these warnings here so you can just refer that video and now i'm just trying to remove this particular text field here and now try to run this so here we have got enter email id and now let us try to create a custom widget out of this such that we can avoid all these lines multiple times so just go to the flutter outline here and select the widget which you want to create and here extract widget and now let us try to specify custom text field and tap on refactor here so now we have got a custom text field here and you can just pass in the parameters and make use of them here inside the text field over here so what is the parameter we require the first one is like we require enter email id so i am just trying to cut this and add it over here also you need to accept it here so you need to accept the parameter so specify string and let us specify a string to be text here and now let us try to add this to our constructor so require this dot text and add a comma over here and also remove the constant here 
because we are trying to accept a dynamic value every time so copy this text parameter and replace it over here for the hint text here and not only the text you can also specify font size here so now let us try to add an integer value for font size and initially I'm specifying it 0 add it here require this dot font size okay and also you can just specify the colors and font style so I'm leaving this for you so you can just try it out and if you are having any queries you can just let me know so let's make use of this font size over here and here so yes we require a double here instead of an integer so just make it double here and that's it so whenever we are trying to specify a font size you can just specify them in terms of double like this here so that's why we make use of a double instead of integer and still we are getting an error why so we have specified required right so then you need to specify the parameter name as well here so text comma font size so whenever you are going to specify a name for the parameter here so the advantage is like you can specify font size first and later you can specify text so if there are multiple parameters in your class here so this is the advantage so if you are having multiple parameters in your widget so this will be an advantage for you so instead of going through a particular order you can specify them as you require in any sequence here so now let us try to run this code and you can see it's the same nothing change and now let's try to add one more field here and this particular field is for password so let's specify password over here and here you can see the same code is been used multiple times and in our previous tutorial we have also created a separate file for custom text here so in the same way you try to create a same file similar file for custom text field and try to import this into this particular project and try to use this and now let's try to make the font size of the password to 10 to just know whether the changes will apply properly or not so here you can see the font size is being now reduced to 10 so this is very clear that whenever you try to create a custom widget you can alter the properties of the widget which is being created by passing the required parameters so i think you understood this particular concept now very clearly so in first tutorial we have seen the basic text widget and in the second tutorial now we have covered text field so that the text field will be quite confusing for the beginners so i have just covered this in this particular tutorial and still if you are having any queries do let me know in the comment section below and the code for this tutorial is available in the description section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter